Prima Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Action video camera manufacturer GoPro has released its 74 gram Hero 4 Session camera, which it hopes will also be used to film lifestyle and family moments, broadening its use beyond its traditional markets of action and extreme sports. Skulk Berger has the story. GoPro launched the small, robust and waterproof camera called the Hero 4 Session in August. The company, known for the athlete perspective videos of action sports and extreme sports, has also seen significant use by motoring and motocross enthusiasts. However, GoPro believes that the small size, ease of use and quick sharing functionality of its latest cameras will boost the use of the cameras for filming lifestyle sports, including dancing, drama, ballet and more, as well as family moments. GoPro South African distributor Omnico brand manager Devil de Yaga details the new camera's capabilities and uses. Uh, GoPro just unveiled the Hero 4 Session, which is just this little beauty over here, and it's the smallest and lightest GoPro yet. It weighs just 74 grams in its frame and is waterproof as is but it packs a mean punch because it's got an 8 megapixel sensor, can record up to 1440p video, but also 1080p video at 60 frames, or 720p video at 100 frames. Um, can also do burst photo, and can do those at 8 megapixels for 10 in one second, which is pretty impressive. It's got a nifty feature in that it's not only waterproof as it is, but it's obviously quite rugged as well. Um, it also auto-rotates you know, if you mount it upside down on your head or on your bicycle, and it will auto-rotate and the image will always be upright. Um, it's also got a dual mic system. So it's got a microphone at the back, microphone at the front. So if you're cycling and there's wind noise on the front microphone, the back microphone will actually uh, switch on and the front microphone will switch off and you'll get clear sound. So most people know GoPro for being, you know, a camera that you use in, in something extreme, you know, uh, cycling or, or you know, mountain biking or diving or something like that. But it's changed so much over the last few years that people are, you know, we're creating mounts and people are using it for um, their animals, for normal family shots, for um, things uh, like lifestyle images, uh, even music. You know, uh, recently we did a, a shoot at the Opikopi Festival and it was so impressive um, to see how the camera performed in those conditions. There's a, a whole bunch of new accessories uh, that are coming out and, and I think two of them stand out. One is the strap, which is um, basically a device that can attach to your hand, your arm or your leg. Um, it's got a 360 swivel so you can turn the camera towards yourself or away. And uh, the other one that I think is great is called Casey, which is a crush proof case that can house various cameras and accessories. With Session also comes improvements in the buckles that we use to mount the cameras. Um, so, where in the past the anti-vibration plug, which is something that no one ever used, but is incredibly valuable to uh, keeping the camera safe and stable, is now integrated into the buckle. But they've also added an extra um, feature to the buckle in that you get a, a ball joint buckle that can rotate 360 degrees. So even if the camera is mounted in a static position, the camera can still turn 360 degrees using that buckle. Other news making headlines this week, the Gordon Institute of Business Science and the American Chamber of Commerce launch a leadership program and the Imperial Group hopes to lessen dependence on its automotive and South African markets. The Gordon Institute of Business Science has, in partnership with the American Chamber of Commerce and the Gauteng Provincial Government, launched a public-private partnership to improve leadership. As the provincial government, we are delighted to be a partner today in this groundbreaking initiative which proves once more that working together as the private sector and government we can achieve much more and bring much better quality leadership that is dire to our nation. And we in Gauteng would like to continue to learn to be better leaders and that's why we support an initiative like the one that is being launched here today. South Africa is well known for developing great policies and plans, but we are weak in the implementation. And therein lies the leadership deficit. The Imperial Group hopes to reduce its dependence on the motor industry and South Africa owing to the impact of the weak rand on vehicle imports and the high market share the company already has in South Africa, which limits its domestic growth opportunities. Be more specific in South Africa, um, in our last annual report I um, mooted the 
the proposition that what we were going through was not a cyclical change but rather a structural one. Uh, I was kind of tentative about that statement a year ago. Today I'm less so. I think that we are undergoing a structural change. I think that the South African economy, uh, by virtue of uh, demographics, socio-economic conditions, uh, many other things, is actually changing in its shape. Um, and uh, of course we're seeing constant downward revisions of our growth prospects. Uh, we've been a victim of the global developments uh, and we've seen these low consumer and business confidence um, numbers come through, exacerbated by the electricity problems uh, that we have. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.